What is going on everybody, it's Steven here and welcome back to another Minecraft hack client test video. So today we're going to check out the Cicada hack client for Minecraft 1.7.2 to 1.7.10. And trust me guys, this client is fucking awesome, so it's definitely the best client I've used for Minecraft 1.7. And it's coded by Danion and Trilchen, and it's actually a private client. So you have to pay the developer something like $20 and then you get the client. But today I have a leaked version for you, so it's actually a cracked version. It's a bit older and outdated, but it's still kicking asses online and it's definitely awesome. So you can try it, it's cracked, you will find the link down below. It's on leakforums.com and yes, I did run a virus scan, so it's definitely clean, so you don't have to worry about that and it's working as you can see in this video. And yeah, I just have to say this client is awesome, I will definitely buy it. And if you also want to check it out, then just try this test version here and if you like it, you can buy it. But I have to say it's definitely worth the money. Now if you don't know how to install the hack client, then check out my installation tutorial. And yes, it's for 1.7, it's definitely working, so check it out. Link is down below. And you have to apply the crack. You just install it normally and then you have to enter the um, cracked server. But I will show you now what you have to enter. So let's just go and let's have a look at the Cicada hack client. Alright guys, so you start the game normally with the hack client version. And just a little disclaimer, this is not cracked Minecraft. So this is just a leaked hack client, so a mod for Minecraft. And I absolutely don't support piracy. So make sure you have the original Minecraft and you just apply this mod here. So also this mod is outdated, so there's already a newer version of this hack client. And if you like it, buy it because it's awesome. And once again, this is not cracked Minecraft. Now what you will see here is serial key. And here just enter here frontier crack and um, I will leave it down below in the description so you just have to copy and paste it and enter it here then you go here to load and then you just go to login make sure if you have a firewall that you um, just don't block Java because I've had the problem with my antivirus and the firewall it was blocking Java and it couldn't connect here to this cracked server so just a piece of crap but if you deactivate everything then you should be able to log in just if you get an error. If you don't get an error during the login, then you don't have to do anything. Now, after you are logged in, you are in the client options. So what you will find here is switch to 1.7.2 if you don't want to play 1.7.10. And also here we have an old manager. And yes, the old manager is definitely working. So here you can see, um, for instance, some old accounts which are working. There are also some old accounts on leak forums, so you can check it out if you want to. But yeah, I absolutely don't support piracy, so buy the fucking game. Alright guys, so we're now here in the main menu and this is the Cicada hack client. As you can see, this just looks like normal Minecraft, so not many things have been changed. Cicada is up to date, but no, it's not up to date. There is a newer version, but in order to get it, you have to buy it. Alright, that were the client options and let's just check out the video settings. So you can see it comes with Optifine, which is absolutely great. And it comes with many, many hacks in the game, as you will see right now. It's definitely awesome. So let's just go to a multiplayer server and let's check out the hack client. All right, guys. So as always, we're going to join Total Freedom. The IP is down below in the description. It's one of the servers I play on for the most time because it's damn awesome. You can hack. Hacking is allowed. You don't get banned for hacking. You just get banned for griefing and doing bullshit. So don't spam, don't grief, and you won't get banned. And you get OP as soon as you join. So let's go and let's check out the client. Oh yeah, so we're now here online on Total Freedom and yes, this is the Cicada hack client. I really hope the developers are not pissed because I'm reviewing the hack client, but I have to say it's definitely awesome and I need to check out where I can buy it because yeah, it's just great. Now first of all, let's check out all the features. Before we have a look at the GUI of the hack client, which you can open up with the right shift button by default, we are going to check out the commands of the hack client. Now you can enter them directly into the chat and the prefix is minus. That's really great because every kid knows dot is the prefix for hack client but no not on this client so it's minus and yeah um, if you type minus help you get a little list of commands which you can enter but not really many so you have to figure out what you have to enter in order to adjust for instance flight speed or x-ray or something then let's have a look at the GUI so you can open up the GUI with the right shift key on the keyboard as always it's a drag and drop GUI so you can drag and drop it around the screen and I had to make the GUI scale smaller because as you can see, so many mods are included. This is just crazy. So my whole screen is full with mods. Let's quickly check them out. Now here we have, for instance, the info box. So this tells you the coordinates in which direction you're going, frames per second, and your in-game name. Then here we have wall hack. And wall hack is basically x-ray, can be configured in the GUI, and I'm pretty sure it can also be configured with the commands, but 
yeah, I'm not sure what commands I have to enter, so I have to check it out and get used to it. Here we have Kill Aura and IX Aura, and both are customizable, so um, hit speed, range, then the delay and everything. You can also choose targets like player, mobs, animals, whatever you want to. And it's also working on Mineplex with the new anti-cheat, which I think is already implemented because flying doesn't work and also you cannot use the timer. But yeah, you just have to play around here with the hit reach, don't set it too high, same goes for the speed. And then the aura is also working on Mineplex, so absolutely no problem. Here also the GUI, so it's customizable, we have here info, open GUI, open IRC, so there's an IRC chat, but I'm not sure if it's because it's the cracked version, but yeah, the servers are down, but maybe it works in the bought versions or the updated version, but yeah, here in the cracked version it's not working. And here we have miscellaneous stuff like no raider, stuff alert, take damage and all that crap. And sometimes I don't know what the hack is doing because there is no info box or something if you hover with the mouse over the hack. But it also comes with different skins as you can see, some of them look really great. There's also the kinky skin in there. And yes, the hack client is definitely as good as kinky or not even better. And yeah, the Pringle skin looked nice, but I think this one here is easier to read. Then here we have rendering hacks like TTF chat to improve the chat. Tracers, trajectories, waypoints, wall hack. What the fuck? There are so many hacks in here, so you can also scroll down. And yeah, now all the hacks activated. Some of the hacks are not in there, like LSD or something, but this is just bullshit and I never use it. So all the important hacks are in here, so you can also see um, what armor the other people have, which weapon, their health bar, and everything. So it's really great if you play, for instance, survival games. But that's not everything. It also comes with chat hacks, and watch out. If you press the button, it already starts to spam the chat. And <laughs> accessing your mom and such bullshit, so you can see it's now spamming the chat, <laughs> hacking the FBI, and what the fuck. But yeah, I hope I don't get banned right now. But yeah, really awesome, but watch out, if you press the button it already starts to um, write something into the chat. Now that were the chat hacks, and yeah, as you can see we just have code right now, half of the hacks, so there's so many hacks in here. We also have here some combat hacks, as you will see later on Mineplex, it's definitely working. Criticals, Quake Aura, IX Aura, another Kill Aura, so the normal Kill Aura, Auto Pot, Auto Shoot, Blood Drinker, and be careful with Blood Drinker. If I activate Blood Drinker, I cannot open chests or anything. I'm not sure what the heck is actually doing, but yeah, it's a bit bugged, I think. Click Aimbot, definitely working, so combat hacks are totally awesome, as you will see later in the PvP gameplay, but it's a bit harder to cheat right now because the Mineplex anti-cheat has been improved. Then here we have values, for instance, to adjust all the crap here, and yeah, there are many, many things to adjust, so better speed, better timer, and yeah, many, many things, but you can't scroll down, so maybe the slider's broken, or maybe there are not more options to adjust. But yeah, it's pretty cool because you can tweak the hacks. Now, as I've said before, you can also pin boxes to your screen, so it's the left thing here. And also with the right minus box, you can just um, close the categories or expand them. And here we have movement hacks and no slowdown, speed, sprint, step, and yeah, all the basic movement hacks. And there are many, many included, so you can also scroll down here. So really many movement hacks, fly is definitely working, but yeah, not a Mineplex anymore because um, you get set back to the earth. And also the timer doesn't work anymore, or at least just with this client here. Yeah, so that are the values, and yeah, you just have to play around with them, but they are definitely working. Also a lot of movement hacks here, also fly bypass, haven't tried it on a lot of servers, but yeah, movement hacks working. Then here we have player hacks for instance, and yeah, sometimes I don't know what the hack is doing, like suit or whatever. So it would be really cool if there would be a little description box if you hover with the mouse over the hack, which tells you what the hack is doing, because you can actually name the modules however you want. And yeah, also free can work so you can go out of your body and explore the area in rendering distance. And yes, I know my skin looks like shit. But let's close the player hacks, let's have a look at the auto hacks. We have auto tool, auto walk, so all the hacks which nobody needs. Here we have creative crash, so it tries to, um, for instance, crash a server if you're in creative, but yeah, doesn't work here, so let's go back to the spawn. And yeah, this is the new spawn, so that looks weird. Here we have auto drop, auto switch, then auto head, and some more auto hacks here for creative mode. Different modules like no cheat, which tries to bypass no cheat, and also for some other servers like vampires or mines. And you can try it if you want to, so it tries to bypass it, but yeah. It doesn't work sometimes. Then let's have a look here at click aimbot. So even the click aimbot is adjustable, so you can choose um, on which targets you want to use it. 
You can also choose here if you want to um, have mines mode or something, that's really great. Then there's also auto pod in here which is customizable, so you can choose the delay and the health you want to get. Then here we have different themes, and the themes are not for the GUI, so they're just for the array list which you can see in the left top corner. So here you can see which hacks are currently activated and the version of the hack client which is currently 2.76 the developer build or something. And I think the latest version is something like 3.0. Now that was my quick test of the Cicada hack line, it's definitely great and I will try to get the premium version and then do another review because I really like the hack line and I hope it gets updated to 1.8 and yeah that would be really really nice. Alright guys so now you'll see the PvP gameplay on Mineplex and just to clarify I'm not always cheating so just mostly for the PvP gameplay because cheating in PvP sucks a lot. But yeah let's have some fun, let's go to Mineplex and let's wreck some kids. Lights are 